The OptiMed SmartScope M5 is a digital medical camera that is used with four attachable optic modules. The retinal module EY3, the anterior eye module ES1, the otoscopic module OT1, and the dermoscopic module SK1. The cradle is used for charging the device and transferring images onto the computer. When SmartScope is not used, it may be stored in the cradle. Initial setup. Before first use, remove the device from packaging and check that all parts are undamaged. Insert battery into camera and close the battery compartment cover. Place the cradle next to a computer and attach the USB cable to connect to a power source. Place camera gently in the cradle. Let's go through the buttons and features of the device. The left soft key is used for powering the device off and on. Power off by pressing and holding the button. There are two LED indicators. The left LED indicator indicates green when the device is on. Flashing green light indicates charging when the device is in the cradle. The right LED indicates blue when the device is in the cradle and the USB cable is connected to a computer. The right soft key is used for opening the menu for devices and image settings. Press and hold to open the menu. The menu has six tabs, one for device settings and one for each different optics module setting and also a general image setting. The arrow keys are used to navigate the menu and adjust the settings. Pressing and holding the middle key is used to create a new patient folder. This is recommended when multiple patients are examined without transferring images into PC between examinations. The optics module is attached by pressing it firmly into place until you hear a click. To release the optics module, slide the release button. The shutter button is located under the release button. Next, we will go through the steps how to operate the camera. After powering on the device and attaching the optics module, select the preferred image capture mode, still or video. The selection is made from the optics specific tab in the menu. The icon on the bottom left of the screen indicates which mode is on. Focus mode. Select the focus mode by pressing the right soft key. The icon in the top right corner of the screen indicates the selection. A is for autofocus and M stands for manual focus. When using manual focus, you can adjust the focus range by pressing the arrow keys up and down. Illumination. Activate illumination by pressing the shutter button halfway down. Adjust the level of illumination by pressing the left and right arrow keys. The graphical icon on the bottom of the screen indicates the brightness level of the illumination. Shoot mode. When autofocus is activated, there are two shoot modes that can be selected from the menu, auto and normal. The shutter button operates slightly differently depending on the selected shoot mode. More information on shoot mode can be found in the user's manual. Preview. It is possible to preview images on the camera display in thumbnail quality. To preview images, go to the device menu and select preview images. Image transfer. After images are captured, place the device into the cradle. Image transfer works in a similar way as any other digital camera. The camera connects to the computer via USB and you can open the folder to view and store images on your computer. Replacing the battery. If you need to replace a battery of the device, first open the battery compartment cover using a pen or small pointy device. Remove the cover by lifting it up and remove the battery by squeezing the battery wires with a finger and pulling the connector out of the socket. Put the new battery in the same position and attach gently the connector into the socket. Finally, replace the battery compartment cover and secure it by snapping it firmly into place. 
In problem situations, there are two options to reset the device. You can restore the original factory settings by selecting Restore Factoring Settings in the Device menu. If the device is behaving abnormally, a reset button can also be used. The reset button is located in a small opening under the display and is marked with a circle. The reset button can be pressed with a thin object such as a paper clip and needs to be pressed for over 7 seconds. If you need support or have any other questions concerning the usage of the device, please contact our customer service at service at optimed.com. Thank you.